Hey YouTubers, Northwest Hiker here. Let's see if I can get through a video without coughing too much here. I got a crud that I picked up about a week and a half ago. That was probably one of them screaming rugrats at Walmart that were blasting out all kinds of spew in the aisleways. And I went by, there was one kid that screamed for half an hour. The whole time I was in there, I could hear him screaming. So he was probably sick. That's probably what I, I had this chest cough that it's just kind of starting to go away. Anyway, there's my, there's my remedy. All right, we're going to have to. Put the ball away. Yeah, here I'll walk over and and check out my solar setup. Need to move the pin off a little bit here. Well, as soon as I start going, Rocky's going to start barking. All right. These are 100 watt panels, Renergy. So 300 watts. All right, stop. Here, look out. Stop. No barking. Here's the crack of my knees. There's my, if you were curious how they connect up, it's got 10 way, 10 gauge PV extension line. That's like 25 feet. So it connects into, these are MC4 connectors. On here and they come attached with the panels and then I've wrapped them with uh, these are all the the red positive line and they're uh, you know, I'll see if I can pop these apart they just pop in and out they're gender specific type plugs so they go into uh, I've got everything paralleled so they go into these Y Y adapters. So there's a pair of Y adapters. So three into three into one. Uh, they probably make a three three into one Y adapter out there somewhere. But I had to get a pair of the a pair of the two into one to make it to hook up three panels. I could probably save a little bit, and I lose a little bit of voltage resistance. I'm sure with the the, the way I've got it, but not enough to get too concerned about. I get about, I average about five, a little over five amps per panel, so I'm probably getting about, about 15 amps of charge right now. So that's it. So it goes three into one with the extension line, and it runs back over here. I've got a 10 gauge zip cord pigtail adapter with matching connectors here so then I can just plug, plug the extension line in they just pull apart easily I, I've got the little there's like little lock tabs I've got those cut off because they're too much hassle to have those lock tabs on there and it just plugs in I'm gonna do it one-handed here but let's see here. Plug here so they plug it right in and I've got it Red to red, and they're gender specific type plugs anyway. So, once you wire everything up correctly, it's impossible to hook it up wrong. I like to have it red, red goes to red, and black to black. So, I can just grab it and plug it in visually, and not have to worry about hooking up anything wrong. You can't do it anywhere, you can't do it wrong anyway, but uh, it's a lot easier color coded. So that's easy to do. Quick, uh, I've got, oop, bang into that. I need to make a better stand arrangement. I've got a pair of, I don't know what these were for, some table or something. It was a pile of garbage when I first got here last spring. Somebody had left a table or a cot or something. These stands, so I just put foam up here and taped it all up and that's coming apart there. I'm going to pull that off, but they work fine for holding the panels up. And that one center one, I've just got a 2 by 4 And then I just take a bungee cord if it's going to be windy at all. It's been windy 
It's been blowing about 25, 30 the past couple days. So I'll bungee the, bungee the panels together like that. and It holds up fine. Now I'll walk back here on the other side. I've got these other two panels of 50 water and a, my broken 100 watt panel that I broke at Lake Powell last spring. I still get about two and a half amps out of the broken panel, so it works fine for for a low power charge. When combined with this 50 watt, this is a Kaisera Kaisera panel that I picked up. That's a nice little panel that that puts out about 3.9 amps full charge. And move that over. Actually, they need to be pretty shifted. That's a nice little panel. So I get about five amps, five and a half, almost six amps out of those two panels. And they're hooked up with Y connectors. And I got a 10 gauge extension line going over here to a pigtail that I wired up to my house battery. So that's what I used to have uh, my house batteries right behind there. It's uh, I think a type 31 deep cycle, 12 volt deep cycle. And that, I don't run a huge amount of power off that one. It just runs the fridge and the electron, any electronics in the, or you know, any any power needs for the camper power. But my main power bank uh, is about 80% of my power requirements. So this house battery doesn't really need a a big charging setup. So I kind of bounce between this these panels here. Plenty of the extra charge I need. That's kept the house battery fully charged, no problem. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, Northwest Hiker. I'm gone.